Welcome to Computer Active's video guides to Windows 7. In this two-part guide, we'll show you Internet Explorer 8. Now, Internet Explorer 8 has been available for Windows XP and Vista for a while now. But for many people, this is the first time they'll actually see it. So let's take a look at what it can do. So we've opened up Internet Explorer 8, and it's showing the Computer Active homepage in a tab. Now, what we're going to do is open another page from the website in a new tab. And you'll notice when you look at the top of the screen, you'll see that they've both been coloured green. This makes it easy to see that both tabs are from the same website. Now if we open a third tab, and this time we're going to go into our favourites and open a different website, and then we'll open another tab from that site as well. We've now got four tabs and they're neatly colour coded so the two green ones are from one site and the two blue ones are from the other site. It's quite a clever little way to keep your websites organised, particularly when you've got quite a few open. So let's close those and have a look at something else. Completely new in Internet Explorer 8 is the Accelerators tool. Let's see how it works. Here's a restaurant view, and uh, we're thinking of going to visit this restaurant. So what we might do normally is copy and paste the name into a search engine. Here in Internet Explorer we just highlight the name click the little blue icon that appears and we get all these options so we can click search with Google United Kingdom and there we go it's automatically opened a search page looking for those words and we can use it for different ways too down here there's a postcode for the restaurant click the menu and choose map with Google Maps and this will open another tab in into the Explorer 8 showing the Google Maps page. It's going to take a little while to load. And there we go, there's the map of the restaurant that we were looking for. So the Accelerators menu is really handy. In just a few clicks and without typing anything else in, we've managed to get all kinds of information about this restaurant that we were looking for. So that's a couple of new features in Internet Explorer 8. In part two of this video guide, we'll take a look at some more of the new features, including the jump lists, the new searching tools, and in private browsing. And you'll find lots more videos on Windows 7 and the programs that come with it on Computer Active's website.